We're here at the Consumer Electronics Show, the largest trade show in Vegas. Here at CES, it's all about the future. I'm Casey Flores, contributing editor to AGRR Magazine, and here at CES, we're going to show you the future of the automotive glass industry. First, we started off by talking to Continental about their intelligent glass. Here's what they had to say. I'm here with Rene from Continental, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the company's intelligent glass control. Yes, hi. So, we are providing here an example how it could look like if you integrate an intelligent glass into your car. Um, the user can get a lot of benefits for this intelligent glass. You have a CO2 reduction, you have a high privacy, you have even a, have a safety aspect as we can replace with this technology the sunblind visor. Um, and of course, all of this is a very high interest for the OEM and for the end customer. Of course, you cannot place this film everywhere. So on the windscreen, there is only some area where it's allowed and where it must be kept clear. But with the electronics, we can also uh, set it to exact intermediate states. Okay. So to keep it within the law required. So if people want continental intelligent glass on their cars, when do they order it? Um, it's definitely no aftermarket product for this. It has to be integrated in the glass. Um, so the OEM has to order this at the glass supplier and we of course want to help them um, to get this thing really run and to make it a success. So there are lots of cool booths here at CES, but BMW goes above and beyond. Inside their facility, they have meals for every visitor, but outside, you can sign up to drive one of their cars, and we're about to check out the BMW i8. It has cameras instead of rearview mirrors. Let's take a look. So I'm here with Philip Hoffman of BMW. He's the project manager for the BMW i8, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how this car is changing automotive glass industry. Yeah, so what we did is we thought a lot about what a mirror, a conventional mirror, can do due to regulations. So we installed cameras to gain certain benefits. So our two main benefits for that concept car here is that we got rid of the blind spots. We can avoid the blind spots by installing cameras which cover over 50 degrees horizontal. And in addition, all cameras evaluate the distance and the speed of cars approaching us. So there's a constant interpretation of the, of the system and it will warn you if a car is too close or already too fast. So then you won't have to interpret that by yourself, which could lead to misinterpretations. Does the camera move at all? No. No? The camera is fixed. It's got everything it needs. Exactly. The camera has such a wide field of view, as I said, more than 50 degrees, that we don't need to move it. Mm -hmm. Because this is only 25 degrees of the camera. Mm -hmm. So we are turning right, and let's assume this is a critical junction, okay? Uh -huh. So we take something from there, and we add it there. See? Oh, wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can emphasize that critical junction. And you see the pedestrian walkway? Yeah. And there would be a cyclist racing down here. You'd see. We mm -hmm. would see him. Wow. And that's exactly the critical area. You see, now it's gone. Mm -hmm. And we add it. Okay. Just by touching. Just by touching the blinker. Okay. Oh, check that out. That shows behind us. Exactly. And it's that is the mode how you can get rid of the blind spots mm -hmm. because we got rid of the redundant information. Once again, you see the car several times mm -hmm. and then you merge it together and you have one perspective yeah. to the rear. Registration for Autoglass Week 2016 is now open. This year's event will be held October 5-7 through 7 at the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center and San Antonio Marriott River Center. Don't forget to book your stay with our host hotel as well. Rooms are filling up quickly. Visit autoglassweek.com to pre-register. And following its recent announcement of a partnership with Ford Motor Company, Corning's here at CES showing off not only its Gorilla Glass, but also other applications of glass within vehicles. I'm here with Doug Harshberger of Corning, and he's going to show us the latest in automotive glass technology. Okay, well, thanks for coming, first off. Um, so the whole booth here for Corning, obviously, as a technical glass company, we've got a lot of different applications. But in the automotive space, we're talking about three ways to use our technical glass to enhance the user experience inside of the car. The first one, as you can see, is the windshield glass. So we beat built Gorilla Glass into a laminated structure just like most windshields are, but in our case the inside ply of the glass is Gorilla Glass, which is thinner, lighter, stronger, and more optically clear. So it makes a, a window
window that's tougher than a standard window. In addition, it makes it able to see information either through it or reflected in it in a head-up display, which we have here. And now Ford is starting to use that, am I Actually, right? Ford, Ford announced uh, their GT supercar last year, or uh, last month as the first production vehicle to use Gorilla Glass in a windshield like this. And are other, are other car manufacturers jumping on board as well? So we announced last year uh, BMW is using the glass on an interior window. There are a handful of other cars that are using it already we can't speak publicly about. So okay. yes, there are others who are interested in it for sure. The other two main technologies here, probably the most important one and the most familiar to people who know Corning, are all of the touch displays that are built onto the inside of the car. Today, more and more users want to have whatever data, information, entertainment available all around them. And so we've built our, our vision of what we think the cockpit of the future will look like. One of the hot topics here at CES is autonomous vehicles. We spoke with a product manager from a major car manufacturer who told us that the technology is still so new that they don't have a plan for repair and recalibration if a window breaks. One thing's for sure though, technicians need to keep an eye on what's happening in this front because it certainly affects the industry. I'm Casey Flores coming to you from CES. Thanks for watching.